your girl is wearing color. But this dress is the sexiest thing ever. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I am so excited for this video because, guys, look at the Christmas tree. I've gone for green and red with some white bubbles. I'm not actually quite sure, sure about the white bubbles, but I, I don't mind it. I feel like a tree, especially during this season, just, I don't know, it's not just a tree, it's Christmas. Christmas gets me so excited. I do have quite a bit to show you guys, including this jacket that I'm wearing. I have this from Abercrombie & Fitch. I've been obsessed with boucle, and I've been looking for boucle for the longest. I'll show you guys how it looks like. This is stunning absolutely stunning it's a very thick material it's this um, mix of black and white and I absolutely love it I've paired it up with this high neck from can you guys tell it's like a bit see-through this is from caramelin I love love caramelin stuff like I buy everything caramelin um, I've had this for years. I'll see if they have it um, still on the website. I'll link it down below. If you guys missed my last video, I did show you guys a lot of this and I think some of those things are still in stock. So definitely go and check it out. I had some amazing party wear pieces, which I'm also gonna be showing you guys more today because I have been going to so many parties. This is the time of the season where I get invited to do so many different events. And that means buying a lot of different looks because I just feel like you get photographed so many times that I can't wear the same thing all over again so I have been shopping quite a bit so I'm gonna share with you guys I also picked up some things from Abercrombie I picked up some things from ASOS actually coats to be specific also speak about the elephant in the room I've recently changed my hair guys I know you guys are used to me having short hair but I really wanted long hair I've always had long hair if you guys have been following me for years you guys know I've had long hair in the past and I missed it I've gone for 18 inches with some layers I absolutely love it and I think it just frames my face it does make me look a bit different but I kind of like it do you guys love it let me know down below um, but yeah we're just gonna get straight into the video actually before we get started I want to show you guys what I'm wearing on my lips I love this this you guys need to get it's a leap and cheek beach stick from Charlotte Tilbury the pigment of this do you see that I have it on my cheeks and I also have it on my lips. Guys, amazing, honestly, incredible. We're going to get started with Abercrombie and I picked up this jumper. It is kind of the same as this boucle jacket I have. This is a lot thicker. This is boucle, whereas this is knit. I love the gold button detailing. It's my thing. I love gold. I love um, embellishments that go with my jewelry. So hence why I picked this. And this also comes with pockets at the front. I wore this to a trip with Katie Luxton. It was in the countryside. And honestly, it kept me so warm. A lot of girls were actually asking me where this was from. I I paired this up with the Sloan trousers, also from Abercrombie and Fitch. One thing I love about Abercrombie and Fitch is if you're a cubby girl, they are really good for catering for that. They've got the 90s jeans, which I love, and I also picked out another jean gels jeans I'll show you guys but the saloon trousers you can personalize it based on your shape so you can get it tall regular or short so I got it um I got it size waist 27 and then I got the tall because I always love my trousers being really really tall and then altering them after because I hate when I buy trousers and they're short for me so I usually go for the tall I'm sorry for the tall girls I'm still in your sizes but I love tall so that I can wear it with heels and then for a casual day I'll wear it with like a platform trainers or platform loafers but I paired it up with this the slant trousers also come in white which I will show you guys in a minute but I paired it up with the black version I just love this this is so warm I feel like this is um, the kind of piece where you would wear throughout winter something that will keep you warm you can wear it inside you can wear it outside like you can easily style this in so many different ways which is one thing I love about buying clothes I like buying things 
that are versatile that I know I'm gonna wear for years to come. These are the saloon trousers that I got. They are this um, cotton material, very light. I also feel like you can wear this in the summer, which is one thing I really love about these. But obviously I'm gonna show you guys how I style them. I also picked out this knit. I love knits and I was missing a cream beige knit. I have a white knit, but I was me missing like a beige knit. This is the color difference. It's a lot lighter than the knit um, jacket that I've shown you guys, but I really love this. I love Abercrombie jumpers because honestly, I don't know what material they use. So this is actually made out of acrylic and nylon, which I'm really surprised on. I thought there'll be a little bit of like wool in there, but it is surprisingly warm. I'm, I'm shocked, I'm shocked too. But this is so nice, it feels soft to the touch. I also feel because it's made out of nylon and acrylic, it wouldn't bubble, bubble as much as wool. So that's one thing to take out from this. I love this, this is like a long, long jumper that you can wear it alone, maybe with like a mini skirt. You can wear this with like this lone trousers, which is how I've paired it up. I would also pair this up with my leather leggings from New Look. I love those, they fit, it's incredible. I'll make sure to leave that link down below for you guys. That's how I usually style them. I usually style like long knits with leather leggings with knee high boots. You guys know the drill. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know how I style my leather leggings and my knits. So this is no new radio for you guys. You guys know how I style them. I also got these jeans from Abercrombie. I love Abercrombie jeans. This is not the 90s um, curve, but this is from the Curve Love range. And I love it because I'm someone who has a small waist and big hips. I know it's a dream, but it's actually a headache when you are shopping for trousers, like nothing ever fits. But I love Abercrombie because they always, always cater for that and I got this in waist 26 and I think I got the long no I got it in the regular yeah I got this in the regular length because with jeans I want to wear it with trainers or I want to wear them with loafers I don't want them to hang like too low you can also wear these with heels I did wear these with my ankle heeled boots from Zara that comes out every year I actually don't think they still have that in stock but I'll make sure to link similar ones for you guys down below I just love this you can casually up you can dress it up I also love that the waistband has this denim wash and then you've got the black it gives a good contrast and it makes the jeans look different I mean it's always nice having one wash, but I feel like double denim wash is always so nice and I feel like it kind of elevates denim more than what it is because I know it's always for like casual days, but I think you can dress this up by wearing like a leather bardeau or you can wear this with like a mesh top with a blazer, some heels, just to elevate the look up a little bit. That's why I kind of went for this because I know I will dress it up and I'll also like casual it down for my casual days. I won't go into party wear just yet, but this is from Abercrombie. Now, it does not look, <laughs> I can't put this up because it's basically a halter, a halter neck dress, mini dress, please say, stunning. I have, I have all colors. So they do the red, green, and black, and I had to get them in all colors because this is one of those dresses that are timeless. I had to get it in black because black is a timeless piece and LBD will always go with everything. And I actually got this one in an extra small, whereas I got the green and the red in small and the fit is still great. I feel like because I'm usually an extra small at the top and then a small at the bottom, I was like, let me go for a small. And then I tried this morning, I felt like it was just a little bit too big. So I went for the extra small because obviously I'm an extra small at the top. And because it's not tight at the bottom, the fit is chef's kiss. I love this. They also come with these from along. So if you're worried about hanging them, you've got these to help you hang. And I think that's really good, especially for like just making, just making sure that you see the look when it's hung, do you know what I mean? I'm always very specific with that because if I don't see something for its true nature when it's hung, then I won't pick it out. But I love that they have obviously these framelons to help you hang it and see how the dress looks like. Do not iron this you need to steam it. I have a steamer from Tefla that I usually use to steam all my clothing. Like you can come close and you can see how 
easily it creases so I'll definitely advise you guys to steam don't press because if you press you're going to press up the pleats these are heat set so they will not um, they will not go back to normal but if you do press them they will go back to normal so definitely just go over it with a steamer and you'll be good this is the only coat I got from Abercrombie well this time round I love love this jacket I've been missing a leather jacket with shirling I do actually have one it's pretty long but it's very old so I wanted something that basically was a lot more crop the one I have is more long line so I got this one oh my god you guys this is so warm and the shirling is so it's literally so soft I love this. This is one of those coats that you just wear casually when you're going for a walk, pairing with some Uggs. Actually, think about it. I got some Uggs. I actually don't know where they are. Um, they were meant to be delivered. I'll make sure, I'll have to go through my boxes and see if they actually got delivered so I can style this and show you guys how it would look. I would also wear this with the jeans that I've just shown you guys. This is just very casual. Like, if you guys can see, it's so nice. I love the zip, I love the finishing. The leather is not shiny, which I also love. You guys know how much I'm obsessed with leather? I actually have a mini skirt next to show you guys. Leather, of course. Yeah, there's nothing much to say about this. It's just really nicely made and I love that the shirling is all the way inside. It's really nice you guys and it also has pockets which is a bonus. I found the Uggs. I have not unboxed them in ages so I have so many packages to get through and I completely forgot that I got these. I would obviously pair these up with the jacket. I went for this color because I just think this color is so so lush. I've also gone for the platform um, heel because I want the extra added high. I also love this um, embroidery at the at the top. I think it's so so beautiful. I've always had a love hate relationship with Uggs because one, I think they're uncomfortable. The first time I got the platform ones, actually last year, I ended up giving mine away because. I didn't like how uncomfortable they are, but I've been thinking about them for so long and I was like, I'm gonna get another pair, I'm gonna give them a go. Someone said that I need to wear I need to wear them and break into them, so that's what I'm gonna do. I think they're so comfortable and I feel like if I don't end up like wearing it outside, I'll just have it as like house slippers, which I also think that's how some people wear them. But I love how they look with like an all white outfit. So wearing this with um, my Salone white trousers with like a cream coat, I think would look really, really nice for like an all white look. I just love them and I'm so glad that I got these. I didn't actually get them from the Ugg website. I'll find out where I got them from. I actually can't remember because it was ages ago. I got these from Laced because the Ugg website did not have these Uggs. Like, I did pay a bit more than the usual price. I think I paid like 200 and something pounds. And I was like, for Uggs, it's a little bit pricey, but I've been looking for these for ages. And I'm so glad I got my hands on them because I know I'm gonna be wearing them a lot. I'm gonna break into them. I am gonna break into them. If you guys have any tricks or ways um, that you guys break into your Uggs, let me know down below. Also, I was watching TikTok and one girl said that Uggs got sold to an American company and I'm hoping that this was not manufactured by the American company, you just don't know because they don't wear off really well. So I'm going to have to come back and let you guys know an update on these Uggs and let you guys know how well they do because when they um, touch water, they do not age well. So that's one thing I'm a bit conscious about because spending 200 pounds on something that's not gonna last me a long time, it's not going to make me happy. So I'm gonna have to come back and let you guys know about that. But that's just a little tea for you guys. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I can't wait to style these. I got this leather mini skirt from Abercrombie. I was hesitant buying this because we all know mini skirts just don't go through the thighs, really. Um, with me, but surprisingly, I found a mini skirt, lord and behold, that fits. I say mini skirt, but it is, it is a squirt. It has this, um, that's basically the squirt inside, and then the outside is the skirt. 
and I feel like the lining has a little bit of stretch in it so it's not to concern you it does fit really really well and it adapts really well with the leather outside the fit of this is so lush I kind of want to get another one of this just because I know how many times I'm going to be wearing it and I know that I don't usually find a skirt that fits me really well so I'm really tempted to buy a second pair but I'm like do I really need a second pair? Like how long would this last me? I know this would last me a long time. There's also a zip insertion on this side. So it basically um, just zips up really well. The fit, the waist, oh, you guys, chef's kiss. It's been a while since I've actually shopped at River Island and I picked up this set. This is basically a bardo set. It's, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a bit of a theme going on, isn't there? <laughs> but I picked up this Bardo set that is so lush. I think I got this in a size... I got the top in a size 6. I do wish the fit of it was just a slightly bit tighter. But it does still fit me. I don't feel like pulling it up a lot. But I just know like with Bardo and obviously with this kind of material, you want it to kind of like, you know, fit you like a freaking glove. Like tighten me, kill me really kill me but like literally like tighten me do you guys know what I mean but I know because of the nature of the material it's not something that you can do I feel like I can definitely get this maybe altered but then looking at it there's boning at the front to help with the structure because this material doesn't really have any structure to it so I can see why they put boning in it with the matching trousers I got them in a size 8 and so I thought they're actually size 6 I put them on and I was a bit like why didn't they not fit but I will be fully transparent with you guys I cut inside the lining because it was very tight on my thighs but without the lining the trousers fit really well I usually go for a size 8 but I'm actually glad that I ended up getting a size 6 because it fits me really well on my waist it is high waisted which I like I definitely think these two paired together are a great party piece also like also a nice new year's day kind of outfit because it's very chill very warm you can put on a blazer you can maybe wear this out for dinner do people go out for dinner on new year's i'm not sure but if you have like a big family and you're all like gathered around you still want to be comfortable i think you can wear this with like some house slippers at home and still feel put together but feel like you're like you're not trying too much you can also like maybe put like a jumper on top or a blazer i would wear this with heels um for like a nice party look i would also wear it with like maybe a mini choker with some statement earrings to elevate the look a bit more but i really really love this i i'm obsessed with boucle at the moment and i'm just glad that i got this set because this is actually one of those pieces that i've not worn to any party so i'm just waiting i'm just waiting for a party to happen so i can wear it <laughs> Speaking of parties, this dress, you guys, if there's anything that you should shop for in this haul, is this dress. It's red, yes, your girl is wearing color. But this dress is the sexiest thing ever. I wore this dress to my agency Christmas dinner and it was literally the talk of the show. Everyone was so shocked that I was wearing color because actually everyone ended up wearing black. And then there's me wearing color, the girl that always wears black. And I got so many compliments. It has this low back that is so sexy on, you guys. Oh my God. And if you're the same height as me, I'm 5'6 for reference. This is just chef's kiss. This with some heels. It's very long and maxi. It makes you feel elegant. It makes you feel sexy. And I love the rose at the front. This is from Meshki. I also have another set in red that I also got, but I want to show you guys this first because this is this is the talk of the show. If you want to be talked about in a party, this is the dress. This is honestly the dress. I absolutely love it. And it's because of these dresses that sometimes I think of wearing more color. And I'm just like, oh, you guys, this is stunning, honestly. So stunning. Also from Meshki, I got this lovely set. Now, on the hanger, it does not look like anything. But I'm going to have to show you guys how it looks like on. Because this is another one of those pieces that are just divine. So divine. And surprise, surprise, 
a skirt that fits. <laughs> Do you know how happy I am? I found another skirt that fits. One secret, if you are a curvaceous girl with like a skinny waist, big hips, go for A-line skirts. This is how you buy A-line skirts. Do you guys see that? It's small at the top and then it goes plush at the bottom. That, those skirts are the skirts for your body type. I was obviously hesitant about buying this online because they don't really show you how it looks like on flat, but I'm glad it arrived. I tried it on and you guys, it fits like a glove. It fits incredible. It is so, so lush. Paired up with the top that I've just dropped. This top has a cow neck and I love the cow neck because it's sexy. Also adjustable at the top. If you're conscious about it being too low, you can also adjust it at the top. It is backless as well. I just feel like backless pieces are sexy and they just look amazing. Honestly, like the sex appeal just goes through the roof when anything is backless. And I love these two paired up together. We're going to move on into coats because I'm always updating my wardrobe. I'm always falling in love with a coat and the coat I've been falling in love with the most is this coat from ASOS. You guys, you guys run, please. Because I already influenced my friend Shayo and she bought this and she looks a million dollars. Honestly, when you're wearing this, you kind of feel like you got money. It's like manifestation in real life. I'm not even gonna lie. Honestly, you feel like a rich bitch. Excuse my French. This coat, it is so stunning. I size up to a medium. I'm usually a size small, but I size up to a medium because as you guys know, I love my coats flooding me. You actually, I actually didn't need to size up too much with this one, so a medium was perfect for me. It fits me like a glove. I feel like a bougie babe with this coat. It is so long. I love it. I love it so much, honestly. This coat, I also have another coat, which I will show you guys in a minute. This is made out of faux fur. It fits so well. It is so soft. You will never want to take it off. I was um, inside the other day and I honestly wore this all throughout my house, not realizing I need to take off my coat, honestly. I was just like sat on the couch after a long day and I was just snuggling with this because it's so, so soft, you guys. When I put this on, honestly, it just feels like a massive hug. It feels so good and that's how coats should feel like. And I love, love this, you guys. Oh, amazing. Another coat that I've been religiously wearing is this coat from Topshop, but I also bought it on ASOS because as you guys know, ASOS bought Topshop when it went down and I'm so thankful for it for it because it means I can shop at Topshop in ASOS next day delivery. Oh, happy days. I freaking love this. It does look worn because I have wore it quite a few times. It is long, it is amazing. I got this in a size 10. I only sized up one for this. I would say don't size up too crazy for this because it already comes oversized, which is what I love. And I think it just looks really, really nice. It's so warm, I've had so many compliments from this. A lot of people thought that it was probably from like Netaporta or like um, something really expensive, but it actually wasn't. I love this, it has pockets on the front. But yeah, I've been wearing this so, so many times. I've styled this casually, I've dressed this up. Uh, I actually wore this with the red dress. I will see if the picture is appropriate enough for me to show you because I took that picture in the lift coming back from the party and I don't know if it's appropriate for me to show you guys but if not I will style this and show you guys how it basically looks like um but yeah I wore this for the party and it was it was lush this next coat I actually got gifted to by Stanla it's a brand that I've always wanted to shop at but I've actually just never been able to shop but they reached out to me and they wanted to send me a coat and obviously I could not say no. I love this coat, you guys. It's still in the bag. So we're going to unbox it together. Look at this coat. I don't think right now you guys can see how well it looks and the material. It is so soft to the touch that I can't explain it to you guys. Guys, I definitely feel like this is 100% wool because it feels so soft. This is alpaca wrap coat. You know it's gonna be warm. 
you 100% know it's going to be warm. It is long, as I like it. I do wish I sized that one, but at the same time, I've put it on with um, the jumper from Abercrombie and it actually fit really well, so I'm actually glad. I don't need to size up one, but because obviously I love everything oversized, but it still doesn't matter. Like, it fits really well. It's, um, I got this in a size small and it fits really well. I love it. I love the length of it. It has this detail at the um, cuffs. It's a really, really lovely detail that I love. It also has um, straps at the back to cinch you in if you wanted to. But I actually love how they've done it like that. I would definitely just wear it how it is. I know I have loads of coats, but I feel like this is one of those coats that will stay with me for life because I don't think I'll ever want to give this away to anyone or sell it on Vinted. This is just like one of those coats that I am going to literally abuse because it is stunning, honestly. I also got gifted this lovely hat, bucket hat to be exact, from Stanla. I love this. It says Stanla written on here. You guys can't see it properly, but it's basically um, embroidered in the coat. I love this. I don't know how it's going to look like because I never really wear this. Oh my God. I don't know why I'm whispering, but how stunning is that? If you're someone that loves hat or loves to go to ski, I think this hat will look so, so good paired up with like a cream um, coat, paired up with the Stanley coat, I think would look really, really nice as a set. I love an all white look. I just feel like it's so Christmassy, it's so cozy, it's so warm, it's everything and above and beyond. Um, I don't know what I'm saying, but I love it. <laughs> I went to H&M yesterday and I got these loafers. I already have some loafers I got from there. I thought I had them with me right now so I can show you guys the difference, but I don't. I got these, these are a lot more platform and they are leather. I actually think these were cheaper than my other ones. These were $37.99 and I believe my other ones were 80 pounds. And I must say, I actually wish I got these ones first because the ones that I got, I'll show you guys in a minute, they are coated leather and they crease a lot more than these. And I just know because this kind of leather doesn't crease as often as coated because when you're coated you're going through you're going through like the film and then you're going through the leather and it creases more and i love this so i just wish i got this first before the other one but i still like the other one because the other one has embellishments at the front whereas these are more plain i never tend to go for loafers because i don't like flats i feel like i have two left feet when i walking flats but I love anything with a platform and I feel like woo, this is one of those shoes that you will wear so many times. I would wear these with my Sloan trousers. I wore my other loafers with my Sloan trousers but I know I'll be pairing them up with this. I got this in my normal size. This is a size 6. I wouldn't say size up to anything. I just love the look of them and I, f I love how inexpensive they are. I also feel like these are really good workwear um, trousers that you can wear so many ways, like wear them with a skirt, wear them with trousers. I personally would wear these with trousers because I love how my trousers fall, um, but I just love them. These are like the type of shoes that will never go out of style, which is one thing I love. <laughs> these are my other loafers that I also got from H&M, but I believe these were $89.99, so a lot more expensive. I will get close to you because if you guys can see, like the creases at the front, they're just not cute. I don't, I don't like it. Um, but I still wear them. Even though they have creases, I still have been wearing these a lot. Like, you can tell by the sole, I've been wearing these a lot. They're really comfortable, they're really great casual shoes that you can literally wear them anywhere. And I, one thing I love about this is the embellishment at the front. I will see if they still have this because I got this a while ago, but I'll also link this down below. That is everything I want to show you guys today. And I feel like the sun is protruding just behind the clouds. 
as I'm finishing this video, I hope the lighting was good for the rest of the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know what your favorite pieces are. I will leave everything linked down below as usual. I also have an LTK where you guys will see how I style the pieces. And obviously if you follow me on Instagram, you would be more aware of it because I always post it on my story. And I think you guys have probably seen this jacket because I styled it a billion times with the miniskirt over on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me on there to always be updated. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you press that subscribe button if you did enjoy this video. And I hope to see you guys on my next one.